Welcome back to Skyrim, everybody. Episode 3, The Saga of Snake. Okay, we are still here down in uh, Riften. I forgot to do something before. I should have shown this on the map where we were. I, I didn't do that, and I know it might be a little confusing just jumping scenes from every one place to another. Uh, this is Helgen, and this isn't showing the road very well, but there's a road here and a road here. This is where we came down on the cart ride into Helgen and we came down the hill to the Guardian Stones through Emberwood Bar to Riverwood. We went over the hill this way instead of following the road to Whiterun Stables and Riften is way down here in the southeast corner. So we are going to go back to Whiterun. We're going to go ahead and deliver this message but not quite yet. You see I want some new armor, something other than this stuff. I don't want to run around looking like a storm cloak. Uh, and to make that, to get that armor, instead of buying something, I'm going to make something. But I need a little more leather. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. I don't like to fast travel a lot. I like to, I like to travel on foot as much as possible. The only problem with that is it takes up a lot of game time. So I will fast travel on occasion, like right now. We are going to. We're going to head over here to the Guardian Stones, as I think there are some wolves along this road we can take out, and possibly a couple over here. And I just need a little more leather. Lovely, lovely weather. No problem. We'll deal with the rain. Lake Illinalta looks good in any weather. There may be a couple of wolves across here. What do we have queued up here? Okay. If they start to put a beat down on me, I may have to switch weapons. The mace will do a little more damage. But I still want to keep using a dagger if possible. There's one. Thank you, thank you. Give me your pelts. Pelts make leather. Leather makes armor. Alright, there's two. There's some across the river. Across the river, or the lake, or whatever this body of water is. Alright, after we uh, get this, we're going to make the armor. We'll go back to Emberwood Bar. I have to think about that sometimes, because I keep one that call it Ember Shard Bar, and that's that's not what it is. It's named after the mine and the town, so why it's called Emberwood. Well, this isn't a bad rain. I hate the the rain when it's just it's pouring down so heavy that you can't hear anything. This isn't too bad. Got to be careful up here though, because there may be three or more. If we have to, we can jump out in the water and swim away. Right, so once we make the new armor, we're going to head over to Whiterun. We'll let the Jarl know what's going on. And then uh, we may have to take a little road trip out west. I'll tell you about that when the time comes. Oh, I got the tree. <laughs> my health is low and my magic is low. Oh, man, there's another one. Probably should have done that a little bit earlier. How many damn wolves was that? Like five? I think we have enough leather. Let 
we might as well come over here and rob what's in this chest. I freaking earned it. Come on. Give up the goods. So that's it, huh? No, I was just thinking, maybe we should run over to Morthal and get some uh, Death Bell. Because we have all this uh, salt pile. If we get some Death Bell, then we can make some uh, potions to sell. I do need to buy some spells from Farngar. Why don't we do that? We'll have to get ourselves over to Whiterun, though, and grab the carriage. Let's see, what's the quickest way over there? Uh, probably... I don't want to go through the pass in the mountains there because there's stuff in there that'll totally destroy us. I can't fast travel to Mortho because we haven't discovered it yet. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, um... But hey, you know what? This is going to give us an opportunity to talk about something else. And that's our... We didn't really talk about that yet, the play style. What, what exactly are we going to be doing here? I mentioned some skills, but we didn't go into detail about it too much yet. So, what we're going to be playing here is what I call a necro assassin. It's a hybrid build, a necromancer assassin hybrid. Because you know, I, you have some builds like a, a sword and shield warrior. Just what it says, right? You have some where you may be uh, just using... Uh, a great sword or a battle axe and you're decked out in heavy armor that's a pure warrior build you might be playing uh, a pure mage okay and then you have hybrids which are a mix of the two so if you take your sword and shield warrior take away the shield and put a spell in that hand you have a spell sword if you take a a two-handed warrior in heavy armor that also uses a lot of magic then you have a battle mage okay makes sense so the necro assassin is it's a hybrid of a necromancer and assassin and I know that might sound like an odd combination let's grab this nern root but there's a reason for it well I mean there's a reason for everything I guess it's, uh, boy, that's really twitchy when you approach Riverwood. This is why I can't put more stuff in my house. I am going to uh, unload the pelts now and uh, lighten our load a little bit. Combat? Why am I in combat? I got three red dots out there, huh? It must be those wolves that weren't there before. Alright. I need pelts. Bring it on. Where are they? You see four red dots. Well, this is interesting. I hope it's just wolves. I know I came through here one time, very early in the game, much like now, and they were uh, bandit chiefs. And they... Uh-oh. Oh, he's got torch arrows, too. I believe you. Ow. Could really use those slow poisons about now. Uh, let's get in a little quick save because, you know... I wonder 
if there's any way I can set. Why are they coming after me? What did I do? Somebody keeps launching them torch arrows at me. Okay, what's my escape route? At the moment, yeah. yeah he's probably going to one-shot me with that thing, but... <laughs> I have... Wait a minute. I have poisons. I just remembered. I don't, I don't think it's going to do a whole hell of a lot, but... I'll take what I got. Let's get some more magicka. This guy, uh, we got him on the ropes. Quick, grab his kit. Look, I'm still launching those torch arrows at me. If I get hit with one of those, I'm, my my ass is cooked. In more ways than one. Oh, I really wish I could summon something right now, but I don't have those spells. God, no. Prepare to die. Come on, ah! come on. Uh oh. He got me with one. See if we can get that one woman down here. Maybe we can single her out. Where'd she go? She get stuck? Let's see if we can get him to... Oops, not what I wanted to do. Oh, I think she's stuck. Well, that really sucks for her, you know? Do you want some more frostbite venom? Or should I just continue to warm you up? It's too bad she's stuck right there. <laughs> I do win. Right, there's one more. Wow, man. I don't know what the deal is with all these guys, but... Hey, we got some good loot off them. Kill the fox. Fox has pelt. We'll take it. Maybe we can get Anise to help us out. If this were a higher difficulty, it would not be this easy. Well, we got more crap to sell. I guess we can go back and get the rest of our training in now. I think we have enough wolves, too. Nah, that was, that was pretty hairy. Like I said, if this was Master Difficulty, well, definitely Legendary, but even a Master Difficulty, they probably would have killed me awfully quick. So, I will be bumping up the Difficulty before too long, but, uh... I'm, I'm going to keep it where it's at for now. Alright, let me just make sure there's no more, because that was... 
Okay, no more red dots. Alright, first things first. Let's make some leather. Make a not that. Um, just get a few more leather strips. Let's see if that'll be enough. All right, what we're gonna make? What are we going to make? Let me uh, unload some other things first. Nothing for there. Get rid of all this excess stuff. Nice, got that dude's torch arrows. Torch arrows are great, they're really helpful. Well, one of those guys had a shovel on him. I guess we can put a shovel in the uh, tool chest, huh? Alright, we are going to make some Thieves Guild armor. Because I have a mod that... Oh wait, I don't have any iron! I have a mod here that lets me make my own Thieves Guild armor. I just realized I needed uh, iron as well. Alright. Um, let's go get some iron. Plenty of iron around. This is Skyrim after all. Alright, so what I did there is uh, I made up one potion with uh, blue butterfly and blue mountain flower. We'll need more. But uh, that'll get us a little bit of money. I should have hit the shrine of Zenithar. I didn't even think about it. And it's in my freaking house! I'm known to do that, by the way. Uh, I just cut out a section there because I was running circles. And uh, we're going to grab a few more of these things. We can always whip up a couple more potions over in White Run. I just want to have some things to sell. So I have a little bit of money to buy some spells. Alright, so I was talking before about our play style. And that being a hybrid, a necromancer assassin hybrid. So, as an assassin, you play stealthy. And I've talked about that before plenty, if you've seen any, uh, any other videos. Um, and uh, as a stealthy player... There's some nice waterfalls along here. Not that it has anything to do with being stealthy. I just wanted to point that out for uh, if I can get over there. To those new to uh, Skyrim, there is uh, Whiterun off there in the distance. So as a stealthy character, if you're playing an assassin, your, your best weapon's going to be a dagger. But there are other things... Uh, that you want to use, uh, I mean, you may want to use, you may want to use a bow and arrow and, and snipe your targets from a distance. Uh, you may want to use uh, magic. You can use traps. If you don't have your own traps, uh, you might be able to draw the enemies into their traps. You may want to use poisons. So, it, you know, things like that. Daggers, bows, poisons. Uh, if you get the proper perk, you can even reverse pickpocket poisons. And that's always a lot of fun. Let's see, we need a little bit of... I'll, I'll take some purple mountain flower and some lavender. I really need a little more blue mountain flower. And I see everything but blue. Of course. It's the only thing I asked for. 
It's not that I can't use these other ones, but... So, when it comes to how to incorporate the other parts, the necromancer part, what you're essentially what you're going to be doing, you're going to take a target out in a stealthy fashion, and then you're going to reanimate it and try to... Um, got him. Sneaky bastards. You want to then reanimate that dead individual and have the zombie wander around and take out other targets for you. In the ideal scenario, you stealth kill one, you raise that one, and let the zombie go and engage other targets while you stay hidden. So effectively, you're going to be acting like a unholy puppet master. Wait, I didn't say that right. It's supposed to be an unholy, uh, the unholiest of puppet masters. <laughs> Something like that. So that's the that's the whole idea. And uh, it's really, really fun play style because you get them fighting their reanimated dead companions. And if you can remain stealthy, uh, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Where are all the blue mountain flowers? All I see is red and purple. Here's a blue one. About time. Well, it's getting late in the day. We better get up the hill. We got a little bit of a walk up there. So we'll go ahead and we're, we'll go deliver the message. And then uh, when we get done with that, we'll try to sell some stuff and buy a few spells. And I was just talking about uh, necromancy and... Uh, you know, raising the dead, and I do not have a reanimation spell yet, so that's the one we want to get. Yeah, I really could have used it back there against all those uh, banditos. Halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. What do I gotta pay you to? Um, let's see. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Fine. There we go. Keeping an eye on you. <laughs> I wanted the speech increase. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order. That, that conversation Why don't you swallow that always starts and, and the floor. first time you come in to Whiterun. And it's like there's a quest there, but there isn't one. But that's how a lot of quests start. Uh, let's pop in here real quick and borrow her alchemy lab. I pity the beast that tastes that. I pity the beast. If there's anything I can help you with. You have but to ask. A truly vile poison. You know, it, it really isn't. Uh, what did I... Damage magic regen. It's not that vile. And it's not for use anyway. It's just for selling. As a matter of fact, uh, you'll buy it. You look rather pale. Could be ataxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. It's not ataxia. It's a tumor. Oh. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Absolutely. She has 517 gold. Let's take all of it. All right, that's it. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. I will. By the way, right now, if you take anything out of her shop, it'll be stealing, but we're going to fix that. Let's get on up the hill and, uh,. Let them know the good news. That snake is alive and well. I'm pleased with the graphics, you know what? I just... <laughs> oh, we need this hanging moss. Come on. I guess I could do this another time. But there's a nice power potion that you can make with hanging moss and lavender. Yes. 
Did I say something? Yep, that's what's queued up. If the news from Pelican is true, well, there's no telling what it means. I what only have to do that. What's the meaning Nothing of this interruption? Jarl Balgruff is not receiving this is visitors. No time for rash action. As House Carl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. Now explain uh, yourself. That, that didn't work. A, uh, I was told to give the message to the Jarl. Whatever you have to say to the Jarl, you can say to me. It's I'm starting right to think... I want to hear what he has to say. Heh. <laughs> What's this about Riverwood being in danger? Well, a dragon destroyed Helgen, and Gerder is afraid Riverwood is next. Gerder? Owns the lumber mill, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. Pillar of the community. Not prone to flights of fancy. And you're sure Helgen was destroyed by a dragon? This wasn't some Stormcloak raid gone wrong? Really? Yes. You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. But it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute. Especially now. What I want to know is, what exactly happened at Helgen? Well, the uh, Imperial's about to execute me for no reason, and this very friendly dragon showed up and ruined their plans. And like I said, it was may have been a, a, just a little bit of collateral damage, but it's nothing that a few nails and some duct tape can't fix, though. By Ismir, Irileth was right! What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... The Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should not... I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service. And I won't forget it. Here, Pay me. Take this as a small token of my esteem. Oh, Imperial Armor? Yes, I've been trying to sell that crap. Thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Your cash is fine. You give me Imperial Armor. I've been telling, trying to sell that crap everywhere. And I get more of it. Alright, get your bones on over here. Come on. Boy, JK did such a great job with this. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me? Apparently. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Just tell me what you need. You are eager to begin your adventure. Excellent. The sooner begun, the sooner done, eh? I'm I, trying uh, to record content, you know. A tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. It's never quite that simple. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, my next question is, are you the biggest ass clown in Whiterun? I believe I am, yes. I knew it. Speaking, <laughs> the city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. Yeah, sure. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's, uh, I'm gonna skip all this, uh, other nonsense here. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? Every one of them. Let's see. We have 686 gold. We need... Reanimate corpse. Nope, we want Ray Zombie. That is the novice level. And we want um, Conjure Familiar. Because there's not always a dead body around to raise, and sometimes you just need a little help. Uh, let's see. Fear's 176. Calm is 200. Fear is fun. Fury is more fun. Oak flesh. We should probably grab oak flesh. Wait, how much is fear? 170. Man. Now nah, we'll, we'll come back to that one. Let's grab Oak Flesh. Okay. I don't think I have anything I can sell him. Spells Let me check. and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Oh, yeah, you can buy, you'll buy that. Great speech increase. Okay, that's, that's the only thing he's gonna buy. Alright. You know, this if you've got the aptitude, now. you should join anything the Mage's College to fight this dragon. Hole. Or dragons. We need it quickly. Before it's too late. Of course, Yao Valgroof. You seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure he will prove most useful. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. What more Imperial armor? Wait, let's just take a look at this. <laughs> oh man. Really? <laughs> How much of that crap have I been selling already? Alright, let's go ahead and read these. I know we have two more level ups for training, but I'm going to go ahead and take this one now. Uh, we're definitely going to need more Magicka for these spells. And I'm going to grab one more because we over leveled. But that is okay. Um, let's see. We have two perks. We definitely should put one here in light armor. Wait a minute. Let's let's not do that just yet. Let's go ahead and grab one in one-handed. And we'll hold on to that other one. Huh? Clara Lux Engineer, probably, since that guy doesn't have a name or anything. Oh, I'm not going to bother with that. I was going to go pick some more of that I know hanging moss. Is important to you, but we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that beast. But we'll deal with that later. Let's see if we can get the Arcadius before she closes. We at least get this out of the way. You look rather pale. Could be ataxia. It's quite a pro Ah, splendid, splendid. It's for a special brew I'm working on. A love elixir like none other. Maybe I'll test it on Farangar first. <laughs> oh, I suppose you expect some compensation. Um, here. 
These potions should suffice. Okay, I don't think I can even sell any of these. I think we so took all our money. An alchemist, then. She's got 97. We'll keep that one. We might actually be able to use that. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. All right, I didn't show it before, but now we can we can take all this stuff. Not not everything though. Some things are still I marked as stealing, ailments, both like that. And, Do let and me that. Know if I can be of service. Ow. All right, I think that's everything. Pretty sure it's past closing time in there, but she didn't say anything. Sometimes if you do that, they'll they'll tell you to get out. But uh, she didn't do that. So, all right, let's get back over. Oh, we still don't have any iron. The Jarl has finally agreed to send you back to Riverwood. Yes, Housecar. We'll leave immediately. It's just us against the dragon. Is that it? I can't afford to send anyone else, and we don't know where the dragon is. <laughs> They're over here, Earlith. Your main job will be to keep an eye out and get the people to safety if the town is attacked. I don't expect the three of you to fight off a dragon by yourselves, but I do expect you to do your duty. Of course. We'll keep Riverwood safe. You can count on it. Let's move out. Time's a-wasting. Yeah, it's kind of funny. She's, like, bossing the guards around, but there's a captain of the guards. She's just the house, Carl. I never quite figured that out. All right, we're going to need, uh, let's see. Ah, it's 10 o'clock at night. I was going to say we could buy some iron ore, but we can't get that now. Um, I'm trying to remember. I know there's some iron ore veins around. Maybe I'll do that off camera. I'll just run around and uh, I'll... I'll mine some ore and then we'll pick it up. Probably back at Emberwood Bar. We'll make up our new gear. But we also have to take a trip out west before we take on uh, Ember, uh, not Ember Shard, um, Bleak Falls Barrow. So let's wrap this up here. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this wasn't too boring. I'm trying to keep things interesting and uh, I still have no AC and I'm sweating to death right now. It's a not fun, but I've got somebody, I got some people coming out uh, in a couple of days to install a new unit. So a couple more days of suffering in the Florida heat. That's fun. That's always fun. All right. That'll be it for now. Take it easy and I will see you next episode.